Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, we're going to do solicitations for Marvel here tomorrow, but I want to put some quick news out to you, and, and kind of maybe clear up a couple things. So, short little video. Um, there's been a, some swirl of kind of new titles, and one of the things that you're seeing, particularly out of Marvel, and this is mostly about Marvel, so we're also going to talk about Black Widow and what's going on with his box office. So, a lot of things. I, if I was a good YouTuber, I'd cram... I mean, these would be two separate videos, because I could do a whole, like, Black Widow falls to woke culture and destruction of MCU imminent. That would be the, but, but you know, that, that's not really true and it'd be a boring video, but, um, I'll, you know, other people can do it, but let's talk comics first because I do like comics more than movies, of course. So, uh, Marvel is definitely moving. If it hasn't been painfully obvious and you see it in the solicitations for October to this, um, this new model of, um, uh, limited series and one shots and that kind of thing. So with that in mind, we are seeing more and more series either end or titles that were limited series all along. And that was really how they were all, you know, thought of internally, um, be revealed as, as just that. So an example, Children of the Atom appears to be over with issue number six. There's no title solicited for September. There's no title solicited for October. And uh, Children of the Atom uh, doesn't even appear like the creative team is uh, solicited to do more. So it, Children of the Atom was, a, was basically a six-issue series. That's what we've got. Now, will these characters pop up again? 100% they're going to in some form or fashion, whether it's a, a new, new, new Warriors or a new Warriors X or some kind of one shot or, you know, I mean, they, they're bringing in that uh, drag queen character that Cena Grace uh, created for Iceman from time to time. So we'll, we'll see these characters again, I guess is my point. But Children of the Atom is, uh, is done. And I think it was always intended to be a limited series. And then for whatever reason, either because they forgot which is where my money would be, or because they got suddenly optimistic about what it could do. As uh, somebody was reading Twitter and was like, wow, Vita, Vita gets like 500 likes. Uh, so, you know, d d this title could go somewhere, but it, it's not. It's a, it's a limited series. <laughs> That's what it is. So number six appears to be its final issue. Uh, likewise, Runaways is basically hitting uh, issue number 38, and issue number 38 is also issue 100 in legacy numbering. And the title uh, was, last time we saw this title was in August. So, I mean, this title is still coming, but no title solicited in September. No title solicited in October. And it certainly looks like this book is uh, is has been canceled. So this one, unlike, you know, the, uh, unlike Children of the Atom, this one does look like a, you know, full-blown cancellation of, of the comic. But we will see. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, once again, the characters of Runaways 150% are going to appear somewhere else, but it looks like this title appears done for now. And keep in mind, one of the reasons why Marvel keeps this, some of these books around is because they have uh, TV and movie deals, but Runaways as a show was not, uh, you know, not completely owned by Disney. It was a Hulu thing. I mean, it was, it was kind of a, a weird stepchild of the MCU programming under Feige. So... Uh, with that title, you know, that, that show over appears like that title has come to an end as well. Again, maybe, you know, Children of the Atom is very clearly over. Runaways, may, maybe they're just deciding to skip two months for no apparent reason. It's happened before, but it does appear to be over. Um, a bunch of other titles, as we'll see in, uh, in October, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, X-Corp, Black Cat, Fantastic Four, Life Story, Conan the Barbarian, all skipping the month of October. Now, looking at those, Conan the Barbarian is absolutely continuing. Okay, that is a, you know, for whatever reason, dumb mistake. It's not in October. Fantastic Four Life Story is a limited series, and so it will conclude. Uh, Black Cat has done well for Marvel. Uh, they've relaunched it uh, for whatever reason, but that that title is also not going anywhere. And Guardians of the Galaxy by Al Ewing is certainly going to continue. There, that one's going. X Corp, on the other hand was originally, if you really, if you remember back, was solicited as a limited series. It's like a four issue limited series. Um, it, it may, then, then there was word it was five and then the word limited series went away and nobody really knows now what X Corp is. But like Children of the Atom, it certainly appears like this one is, uh, is limited and, and could very well be done. So there you go. Um, there's, uh, so that, you know, a lot of titles, but in general, a lot of books are, um, 
you know, are, are coming to an end in various ways. Cable's over, X Factor's over, Miss Marvel's over. Many of these titles will be relaunched. Let's be honest, Children of the Atom will not be one of them. Uh, Runaways, I could see them trying to relaunch that at some point in the future for sure. Um, you know, X Corp, no, uh, you know, but, but anyway, that's what we've got in terms of the comics. So like I said, we'll do the full solicitations. Why not? Uh, you know, Daniel Kibblesmith is doing a Blade book, so I mean, why not? Well, why not indeed? Um, but the other piece of news is Black Widow. So what's going on with Black Widow? Well, basically, uh, Black Widow, it's a question mark. So you're going to hear a lot of things on a lot of channels about, uh, you know, everything else. But the, the truth is that nobody is quite sure, although there's a lot of good guesses, about what's going on with Black Widow. Nobody is really sure why, uh, what's going on. So what is going on? Well, what's going on is in week number two, it fell 67%, which is a the highest fall in, uh, in, in the Marvel film universe. And right now, if it continues, and, and with optimistic projections, meaning this 67% was a weird aberration, and week three, it kind of stabilizes like the other Marvel movies, but it probably won't. It's probably going to continue to fall at this exponential rate. I can explain why in a moment, but... If that if it if it does kind of dip back up and stabilizes and holds its box office like Marvel movies in the past in terms of drops, it's going to wind up around where the first Captain America movie was, which is not good. I mean that is uh, you know for the time slot and for everything else, it's uh, it is definitely at this point it is considered a failure. It is considered a disappointment within Disney. That is, I mean, Disney is admitting being very disappointed in what is going on. Now, what is going on? Well, likely the truth is a lot of things, not just one thing. Uh, the hybrid streaming plus movie theater model is probably one thing. Uh, the fact that the Delta variant is growing in the U.S. and that probably spooked some people and definitely there's more restrictions is probably another factor. To me, the biggest one is Black Widow died in Endgame, and this was basically a prequel movie, and people were looking for buzz that there would be some kind of stinger in the end of like that she's not really dead, or a way to kind of, you know, hook her to be part of the future of the Marvel Universe. But the big hook at the end was not that. If anything, it was a tease for a upcoming Disney Plus TV show, and not even a movie. Um, you could argue, I think, very effectively that the conclusion of Loki sets up a lot more for the MCU uh, than than this movie does. And so for me, I think the biggest thing is the hardcore faithfuls uh, are, you know, would go to see this movie. They would go to see Black Widow, but that's about it. That's where it stops. Um, the the buzz for a Marvel movie is is not there with this one. It's it's a prequel. We already know what's happening with the character. Um, it got delayed by a year. Uh, it lost kind of the momentum and the buzz. That's a problem. Now, the thing that I think is true for a lot of people who, and there are plenty who just have been begging for there to be a MCU, you know, disaster on their hands, absolutely begging for it. They, they're they very excited by the idea that um, this, this movie is going to suffer. Why? Because, you know, for reasons. Um, where I think they're going to have a, you know, a good, if you're negative about the MCU, I think you're in for a good year because Shang-Chi is unlikely to uh, be a huge hit. It's not going to be at the Captain Marvel Black Panther level of hit. And Eternals looks like an even harder sell. So I think Marvel's next two films are huge question marks to the point that the MCU shows, what they're going to be coming up with with Hawkeye and with, uh, I mean, even Miss Marvel. I know a lot of people on this channel hate Miss Marvel uh, who visit, but I think those shows probably have a better path to success with the you know teen tween Disney Plus audience than, say, Eternals and Shang-Chi. And so at the box office, Disney Marvel has dominated. It's been, you know, one of the key pieces to the last 10 years of, of Disney's success has been Marvel. And they don't have a hit coming up until Doctor Strange 2. And if they have a year plus of very questionable titles, um, you know, it's time to write Robert Downey Jr. big check. Like, they've got to scramble. So, I mean... There's a lot of speculation right now that maybe fans are uh, tired of Marvel. 
um, in the movie theater. And I would say, I, I don't think they're, I think that's, that's overdoing it. They're not tired of Marvel in the movie theater. It's just, where is the hit? Where is the Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth? Where is the Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Where is the Iron Man 5 or 4? Where is the, you know, where are the big movies? When, when you build your whole universe to hype huge Avengers, Avengers 2, Endgame, all this kind, you, you built for this mammoth kind of culmination of storylines. And then you're like, well, now we're going to take a year off and then we're going to go into Black Widow and Shang-Chi and the Eternals. Y yeah, that doesn't work. Captain Marvel worked. It was sandwiched between two Avengers films. Black Panther worked. It was it was before an Avengers film, and it was also coming off of a red hot Civil War film. So I mean, you know, it, it, it when they tried new characters, even even Ant Man was surrounded by uh, big time movies, and 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 all ships will rise. But now we've taken a year off. We concluded a big storyline, and uh, we're we're putting out the the B list of Marvel and led by a character who everybody knows is dead. So that's, that's going to be a challenge. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Disney, but definitely uh, some panic and concern within Disney at the, uh, at the box office. It was definitely not, I mean, in this case, we don't have to speculate. This isn't like a, one of those channels like Disney people alarmed and running around screaming that that's not happening. But what is happening is they are publicly saying uh, that they are disappointed in what they're seeing. And, and so, you know, take that for what it's will. Anyway, some titles canceled. Thoughts on Black uh, Widow? I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, thanks for listening.